And if you've flown coach lately, you've probably become familiar with what's known as slimline seats. More airlines are using them, but how do the passengers feel about them? This is News 10 at 9. Well, Keeb and I would never know because we always fly first class. <laughs> <laughs> really? Always. Yeah, that is just a little too close. Well, this is how it is. This no. is how it is flying. <laughs> no. It, it really is. is. No, you're yeah. right. Can I, I help you with your buckle? No. The seatbelt? You need some <laughs> no. help? No. Stewardess, please <laughs> take care of that. Flight attendant, I should know. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for News 10 at 9. I'm Dan Elliott. I'm Keeba Arnold here with Jeff Marr. It's my biggest complaint now about flying. It used tight. to be the electronics and now it's the seats. Be prepared to be more cramped than ever before. And hope that you don't have to sit next to Jeff Marr. More right? and more airlines are adding what's, what's known as slimline seats. And he already showed us at the top of the show. He cheats. It's tight, yeah. He cheats. And you're... Yeah, I'm a great passenger to sit next to. I stay quiet the whole flight. Really? I don't take up a lot of space. Do these people look happy? No. They're not. No. They're not. These aren't even the slimline seats either. And the airlines love these seats because they can cram more passengers in. It boosts their revenue. But do the passengers like it? No, they don't. They obviously want their space and they deserve it even if they're paying the coach fare. Let's face it, they do. And based on a recent survey by website TripAdvisor, it shows that of the passengers who have tried the seats, 83% said they were less comfortable than traditional seats. Delta Airlines is the latest carrier to announce plans to install these slim fitting seats. A Delta spokesman said the TripAdvisor survey is not that accurate because the passengers surveyed were not asked about specific airlines. They were just asked about the seats. He says Delta passengers like the slimline seats. Well, all you have to do is go to the airport and talk to passengers about how they feel about having tighter space in an already cramped airplane. Like I'm going to Las Vegas, so yeah, it's a long flight and absolutely uncomfortable. It gets cramped, my legs start burning. They're getting more and more compact with the space. Definitely more people on, make us all in there feel like, as they say, cattle car. And it's not just Delta, United Airlines, Alaska, Southwest, and Spirit are among the other major airlines that have installed slimmer, lighter seats in the last few years. And one of the most recent critics of the slim seats is Senator John McCain, who recently took a flight from Washington, D.C. to Phoenix. And he sent out a tweet that said, quote, are you as frustrated as I am that the airlines keep moving the rows of seats closer and closer together? Thought he would fly first class, but apparently he was in the same situation that a lot of us are in, where it's uncomfortable, and I would even venture to say it's a safety issue. More people on the plane, if there's an emergency, it's gonna take longer to get off. So when you say slimmer seats, you mean less space from shoulder to shoulder, or you mean less space from my seat to the seat in front of me? Or both. Or both. Uh, it's, I believe it's your seat to, to the one in front of you, because that allows them to add an extra row in the back. So okay. your leg room. So it's, it's the leg room issue. You so know, when you're in your car, you're getting about 40 inches of space from your body to the front seat. In mm -hmm. a plane, it's about 32 inches or mm. less with not these slim seats. It's not a lot of space. No. 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 Flying is miserable. Now. But you know what? We're still going to fly. Right? We have to. Yeah. Exactly. We have no choice. I mean, unless you want to do train, I guess, or drive. 